What is a get home bag and why do you need one? Today we'll go over those points and we'll take a look at mine. My name is Cody Ryan. Welcome to When the Lights Go Out. A get home bag is simply what the name implies. It's about 72 hours worth of provisions to get one from point A, which is usually work, to point B, home, to where all your provisions are kept and your actual bug out bag. So let's go ahead and take a look at mine. You can get an example. This is my new Hill People Gear Connor pack, as well as my Hill People Gear chess rig. This is a complete system. You can have it stand alone as your scout pack, but this is part of a bigger system that goes with my bug out system. So here is the get home bag. Pretty low profile. That's important as stated in other videos. And altogether, what's in here, uh, you're going to see that you're not going to need this for most occasions, but it's about 25 pounds and you're not going to want to go above that for a pack this size without a waist belt. All right, so let's rip into this thing. Exterior, try to keep it as minimalistic as possible. Gray man, these trauma shears, they can go on the inside of it. So that was just on the outside. I was doing some stuff to it. So you can see pretty gray man. Outside, just have the flashlight. Left side as always. And then just a carabiner so you can hook gloves to it. Same thing with the opposite side. So, dipping into it. This side is blank. Inside I have my Hill People Gear knife. This is a Rat 3. Then on the out pocket. Just a silky so, uh, silky gomboy, it's called. It's just a saw processing wood. Front main pocket. I have a representation of one meal. I usually carry about three meals in this, but I'll show you why I couldn't fit it for this particular video. So, one meal, mountain house. Here are my outdoor research, fire resistant gloves. Good to have those, then those can clip to the outside wherever you need it. This is a buff neck protection, face protection. Goes in conjunction with a face mask. So this has charcoal lining to keep out all the um, like impurities in the air. Then this can go over top of it. Nobody will know you're wearing it. So there's your dust mask. Then this is just a main large pocket. It's got stretchy material. This is my outdoor research Ferrosi, Ferrosi, I'm not sure how to say that, hoodie. And just a technical soft shell windbreak stretchy for rock climbing. So this is my summer weight get home bag. So that's it for the large pocket. The main compartment, maybe you find yourself in a civil unrest situation. So bushcraft bandana and an SBR. So this is my 300 blackout with sling and everything pre-attached. I'll show you this real quick. Simple as two pins. Quick release buckles for the rear. Inside magazine, 20 rounds. Then for real situations, you could always add the suppressor that you keep in your back pocket. So there is the civil unrest 
I don't recommend walking down the street with your rifle, but once you get to a sheltered location in the woods, this you can't beat that for protection. So we'll keep that there. Pouches, we'll do the top one first. This is a towel, silver impregnated, keep the bacteria out. Don't want to be wet. In my climate, it's very hard not to be. So towel is important for me. Leatherman multi-tool. This is the Surge. Pretty bomb proof, heavy duty. There's other reviews on that. Fire, just kept it simple in here due to weight. Everything in here, like you said, or like you saw, is uh, 25 pounds, including the rifle. Just a big and a waterproof container. And then this, just to keep all my batteries charged, your phone charged if you need an emergency phone call, made. And then just wall outlets, USBs, stuff like that, because this is also my EDC bag my everyday carry some paracord second pouch this is all water and cooking and some knickknacks so here's a sharpening stone keep my knife up to par here is part of my stove i'll show you that in a second Keep that to the side. Here's some earplugs. Not that you need it with a suppressor, but sometimes I go to the range, I'll forget to bring something. I have it. Just extras. Like I said, EDC bag, Sawyer water filter, backwashing, plunger, Silcox key. So urban get home. Uh, you have access to like commercial buildings. You need a key to access the water. Maybe that's not shut off yet, so this is what that is for. And for my Battle Box subscribers, this, I have no idea what it's called, but they're basically, like when you were a kid, those juice boxes. You throw these in any body of water, a puddle, and it soaks it up, takes out all the viruses, bacteria, and it flavors it, and it's got vitamin C's, electrolytes, everything, and then you just take the straw, like a juice pouch, once it expands, I think it takes 24 hours to do, so this will be an overnight. Um, and then that's it. You got an electrolyte purified juice box. So that's water. Up here is spotting. I don't have a scope on my rifle. It's just an EOTech, so up close engagements. So just a little pair. These are 8x21s. Binoculars. This is my cook kit, I'll do that in a second. Here's some emergency water, so I don't have time to filter and purify right off the bat. At least you have a little something to get you kicked off and going. Down here, again, this is my summer weight get home bag. This is just um, Helios Eno slap straps for your hammock. And this is my hammock. I don't have an underquilt or anything, so if it dips below, for me, I sleep cold, 70 degrees, then you're going to want an underquilt, which you can attach to the lashings on the outside of the pack. It does have room to expand. So as you can see, it's empty now, but it does fit quite a bit for just a small little day pack. So there's the pack itself. This is my... Titanium, light my fire, spork. This is my Pathfinder, Nalgene, metal bottle for boiling. Here's some fish spreaders for. Hanging your pot and grabbing it. And inside the pot, Keep my MSR stove. I'll show you really quick. 
quick for those of you who've never seen a backpacking stove. And then these kind of come around like this. Make them wider. Then you can boil your water up here or here. And then you just pour it in the mountain house. All it requires is boiling water. So there's my cook system. It's got a lid with cutouts for the fish spreaders so that you can boil your water on the fire. And that's it in there for the cook system. So as you can see, very minimal setup. I'll go ahead and go into the chest pack now. The front little pouch. This is a little micro saw from Tops. This is kind of like a last ditch to like a last ditch. This tethered compass. Another fire steel, a little redundant there. And a Tops whistle for signaling, getting someone's attention. There's a small pouch going into the main pouch. Here is one flare. Can't get that fire started. You need to right away for signaling. You could use this for signaling. Anytime you need a fire, there it is. Another Sawyer, redundant. Here is my Phoenix headlamp with a Theorem waterproof extra battery case. And here, this is just my cleaning, like uh, my goggles or my optics. If I need to clean my rifle to EOTech, just a little like terry cloth microfiber. Then on the inside, this is a secondary multi-tool. So it's heavy to have two multi-tools. You don't need it. But like I said, this is part of my bug out system. I just keep it in my car. So I'm going to wear it home with my get home bag to then put on my bug out bag. And I don't want to have to worry about, did I bring a multi-tool? Do I need to grab this, put it in? So it's just in there. Call it training weight. That's it for that. Then the back pistol compartment which you could use to conceal carry if you did not want to carry an entire rifle you carry a pair of military GI wool gloves fingerless that'll go over my outdoor research if it's a little bit chillier this just a uh, like a rag again redundant to the towel this right here is a signaling mirror or if you get something in your eye first aid so that stays in there as well as another bandana because you never have too many of those so that is the hill people chest rig setup one other tidbit worth mentioning is that you're not always in combat boots or hiking boots usually in loafers from work so carrying a spare pair of hiking boots or comfortable sneakers to get you on your way home is invaluable so that you're not getting blisters and you're turning your two day trek, one day trek into multiples. So this has been Cody Ryan with When the Lights Go Out, a brief overview of my get home bag. Hope you took something away from it. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Okay.